Hey everyone, Lazy Gardener here. It's a hot day in uh, late June, and I want to check in with you and show you how my composter is going, my extra large compost that I made. There should be a link, probably, hopefully, up there uh, to that. Um, but let's see how it's going. Now, uh, just as a reminder, I'm trying to make a, a compost as fast as possible. This is called the Berkeley Method. It takes about 21 days. The instructions are, after you make your pile, flip it after six days, uh, excuse me, flip it after four days, flip it day, then every two days after that. And that should get you some really great product uh, as quick as possible. So uh, the I'm going to make some observations. I'm going to show you how it's coming along. But the first thing I want to uh, I remind you is that it took a lot more materials than I had expected. And as a result, it taken a lot more work than I expected to get this flipped because I have to keep flipping it. And the first, I, I didn't instead of flip it at four days, I flipped it at day six. And then I didn't flip it two days after that. I flipped it on day 10. But now I'm on day 18 and I have flipped it four more times. I'm actually in the process of that I flipped it every two days and the product has really been coming along. Uh, I'm going to show you now how it's coming along and give you some of my observations. Okay, so here it is. Uh, you can see I'm in the process of flipping it. The material has gone down uh, well over 80%. It is in uh, a very nice condition right now. If you see, it is really starting to uh, dry out. If I squeeze it, it will still stay together, so it is not too dry. But it is really starting to dry out. It's getting very crumbly. I've been maintaining heat. Uh, up until about a couple of days ago, I was in the hot zone. I was in the 140s. And now, uh, maybe the last couple of days, it's come down to about 120, even though I flip it. I have not added any water, but there is a hole in my tarp, and there were a couple of really heavy rains in there, so I'm sure some water did come in. But uh, just keep doing that squeeze test. It's okay if it looks like it's drying out, especially near the end. It should. This looks really, really great. It's really coming along. Um, while I was flipping it uh, the last two times, I'm quite surprised. I've been smelling a little bit of a faint ammonia smell. And to take care of that, I just take some leaves from in here and, you know, I've been sp just sprinkle a little on and, and the smell goes away almost instantly. Uh, and that's not going to hurt anything. Uh, and it, it's really compressing. Now, the sticks there, down there, I do recommend sticks. I probably put down a few too many, but a couple of like long kind of logs that go the length of it or a series of maybe 10 or 12 sticks is really great. Uh, when I get to the bottom, I can put the pitchfork under them and lift them up. I can kind of shake them off and then it's very easy. No uh, compost is really stuck to the bottom like it was in this one when I didn't use sticks. Uh, as far as these crates go, uh, you cannot get cheaper. You cannot get easier. They work excellent. I do have a few uh, things that I would do differently or I could do better if I want to keep doing this and I do want to keep doing this um, is... Uh, that one there in the back, okay, you want to use the panel that has the most wood facing you. And you're probably saying, duh, but I just didn't pay attention to when I did it. It does make a difference. I didn't really think um, it would. It does. Uh, it helps, you know, it just, it just holds the stuff in a little better. The spaces between the slats, though, are also, I'm sure they let in great air, but they're a little annoying. The compost does go in there, you see. No matter what you do, it's going to fill in the spaces. And the closer together the wood doesn't necessarily make a difference. It just gets smushed in there, especially at the bottom. And so if I was building one of these, I would definitely uh, have slats going uh, longwise and stacking up and put some air gaps between them, but not enough for compost to come through. This is, um, you know, for free, fantastic. Uh, also, I would say, um, you know, this is a lot of work and I would not want to do this this quickly. That is that I don't need normally compost this fast. It really seems to be working, but in the earth machines, uh, it takes me about, you know, 45 days, even if it takes 60 days to get compost. And if I'm stirring that once a week during that period of time, that's a lot. And these are a lot, lot less work, and I'm definitely gonna keep with them. Also, as far as 
earth machines go, I really want to do a tutorial on these because I really think that I've, I've got these guys because I, I'm, I'm surprised, comparison to the fastest you can get compost, how quickly and easily I'm getting compost out of these. And they also, as far as the kitchen waste goes, they hold in the smells much better. It's not that that pile so much smells, but when you're flipping the pile and you get to the layer of the food, in the first two flips there's still something there and it is odorous. I don't really have those issues with these. They really don't smell uh, very much or uh, for very long. And I really like that. And I love the fact that these guys are small and you can get compost uh, with, with, you know, as, as one batch at a time. And you can see right here, this is uh, finished compost. And that is really great. And that's actually two of these I combined together because I've been making a lot more compost this year because I've been at home and I've had the time. But that to me is a lot. That would be a lot normally and I made that pretty quickly and efficiently and I can teach you how to do that. But there is no match to making or starting out with 64 cubic feet of materials and here it is. It's going to go down. I, uh, just before this flip I took some measurements and, and I'm at under 10 cubic feet here of material. Uh, so uh, a well over a six time reduction is quite remarkable. And I hopefully maybe show you at the very end what it looks like, but I can already tell you, this is this could finish right on its own if I just left it in a pile and I'm just gonna keep flipping it until I, until the earthworms move in, they say. Take care, good luck and good gardening.